can people get involved with the RDA? So for volunteering it's really straightforward. We've got a fabulous brand new website which has got so much information about volunteering on. Um, you don't have to be horsey. It does help. Mm -hmm. I'm not that horsey and the training here is superb. Mm -hmm. um, so to get involved from a volunteering point of view is very, very straightforward. So onto the website, download the application form and then we'll start the process with training you. To come and join us for riding is a little bit more complicated. Again, um, we're full with a waiting list. However, our holiday activities are done on a first come first serve basis. So that can be a way where we can get people off our yeah. waiting list, but it doesn't give them a regular slot. <clears throat> and also we would like to manage expectations. Yes. You know, there are there are eighty people yeah. on the waiting list for our regular day to day core term time riding. Um, we do after school clubs and Sunday riding. Um, very uh, thanks to thank you very much to Children in Need for supporting the cost of that. Um, and again, there's a huge waiting list for that. There's other ways that people can get involved though. Um, we started a new initiative uh, last year when we were gifted a pony called Mr Dibbles. Isn't that oh just gosh. the best name <laughs> in the world for a pony? Now, sadly, Mr Dibbles was 20, so wasn't going to be able to cover a full week's yeah. work. So I said, well, you can't have him because he's not going to cover his costs. And then I met him and he was the most friendly pony in the world. Oh, really? So we started a new, new thing, which is tea with a pony for people living with dementia.